welcome back to our Scalar tutorial series. In this demonstration, we will be going over how to create a new project or book, create a new page, and add text and images to your new book in Scalar, a free open source publishing platform that allows writers to incorporate multiple forms of media easily and cohesively into one work. My name is Michaela Knight, and I am one of the spring and summer 2022 student assistants for SDSU's Digital Humanities Center, located in the library. Today, I will be guiding you through the process of adding media to Scalar to customize your simple book. In the first tutorial in our Scalar series, Ali introduced us to Scalar and guided us through the account registration process. If you have not had the chance to check it out yet, I recommend pausing here and going over to that tutorial to learn how to sign up and begin to get to know the dashboard. Today, we will be going over the following steps to creating a new project in Scalar. Step one, creating a new project and step two, uploading media. For our sample project, I will demonstrate how to create this basic book layout in Scalar about the Digital Humanities Center at San Diego State University. In the last tutorial, you learned how to create your Scalar account and became familiar with the dashboard. Now that you're here, the next step is to create your new Scalar book. When you log in, you will see a page that may look something like this. Over time, the layout of the home page may not look identical as it does in this tutorial series. Hopefully the steps for this video will still line up well with whenever you're watching this. So from the home page again, I'm gonna select that dashboard button from the upper right corner, which will take us to this page. On the right side of this page, you will see the books tab, which includes the options to create a new book or duplicate an existing book. Once you have projects that you are already working on, they will also show up on your dashboard under this books tab. For this tutorial, we are going to start a new project, so go ahead and click on create new book. Now, you should see a prompt for you to enter a title, subtitle if you have one, and genre, which in Scalar just means whether or not you're creating a book, article, or project. The most common one that folks are going to be working with is book. So to keep it simple, that's also what we're going to be creating together in this tutorial series. Once you have filled out these prompts, submit this information by clicking create and you will see a little green bar that says your book has been created. Now your book is present in this list to the right of your dashboard where you can click it to begin editing. When you click on your new book, it'll open to a mostly blank page that looks something like this. Notice the header bar across the top of the page. That's where you're going to find all of the tools you will need to start building your book. Starting from the left, we have your table of contents, which for now will just have the options for home and index. This compass icon for navigation, which includes links to recently opened pages, lenses, visualizations, and information about Scalar, including their user's guides and more sample projects. Next, you will see your title and the names of contributing authors. For this tutorial, I'm going to be focusing on what it's going to look like to create an individual project. So you can see what the most common layout that you're going to be working with will look like. But if you are doing a collaborative project, the names of your collaborators will also show up in this section. Next is the magnifying glass icon, which allows you to search within your book. Then we have Scalar's help tab, which if you click on it, will give you a reference guide to the icons on the header bar in case you need a reminder. This plus sign icon will prompt you to add a new page, which we're going to be talking about more later in this tutorial. The pencil icon will edit the page or media that you are currently working on. And this icon of the arrow pointing down is your media importer that allows you to directly search and import media from affiliated archives, such as the Critical Commons Archive, the Internet Archive, and the Shoah Foundation's VHA Online Archive. Additionally, you are able to import media from Omeka sites. There is a YouTube and Vimeo video importer. And finally, there are also options to import your own files from the computer you're working on and import media via URL. Next to the importer is this French icon, which we will be using a lot in this tutorial. This icon takes you to the back end of your book where you can create and edit pages, upload text and media, add contributors, and access other modes of customizing your project through the dashboard. Finally, there's our profile icon, and this will take you to your account and let you sign out of Scalar once you're done working. Continuing on, here's step two, uploading media. To begin assembling your page in Scalar, you will need to upload media that you plan on using in your interactive digital book. We suggest gathering your media and having your text written prior to using Scalar to assemble your project. This is going to make the designing process way easier in the future when you start to create pages. 
So let's say that you want your page to include images, links to websites, articles, or stories that have inspired your work. Well, with that general idea of the media that you're incorporating, go to your book and select that wrench icon from the top right hand corner to access your dashboard, which again is just that back end of your project where everything that you upload is stored until it's assigned a location in your book and made public to viewers. On your book's dashboard, you will see tabs for properties, editorial, styling, content, users, and utilities. Properties will automatically be open when you go to your dashboard and has basic information about your book, like title details and permissions. Editorial will allow you to enable the editorial workflow, which gives you detailed information about the progress of your book and its edit history. Styling provides you with an alternative way to make edits to the appearance of your book if you're familiar with JavaScript. Content, which we'll be focusing on in this tutorial, allows you to create pages and add media. Users, which will allow you to add or remove people from collaborating on your project. This will be important for things like group work or in-class assignments, presentations, stuff like that. Again, for today, I'm going to focus on individual projects so you can see what this common layout is going to look like. And finally, the Utilities tab that lets you import content from public scalar books and export your books so that you can have a backup of your project's data. The only features necessary for creating your basic project is going to be the properties tab, the content tab, and if you're collaborating, the users tab. Now that you're a bit more familiar with the dashboard interface from the options across the top of the page, select the content tab on the left where it says pages, open the drop down menu and select media files. On the bottom of the page, you will see a couple different options. Select all, delete selected, add new page, and import media. From these options, select import media, and you will see another drop down menu with a range of options for uploading media. To start, let's upload an image I found on Google using the internet URL option. Select internet URL and prepare to copy and paste the link to your first image. The easiest way to copy an image's link to upload to Scalar is to open the image you would like to use in another tab by right-clicking or using your secondary click and selecting Open Image in New Tab. Then copy that link for the image that you would like to incorporate in your Scalar book and paste that link into the text bar next to Media File URL. From this point, you can give your image a name and a description. So for example, I'm gonna title this image, the Digital Humanities Center Entrance and give it a brief image description for accessibility. So in this case, I write, there's a white sign with colorful circles reading Digital Humanities Center SDSU Library above two sets of open doors that leads to a room with desks and large monitors showing digital projects. A note on accessibility. When it comes to uploading images to Scalar, there will be an optional prompt to include a description of the image. To make your work more accessible to audiences who are blind or have low vision, are colorblind, have poor contrast vision, use a device with a monochrome display, have limited internet access, and therefore cannot load or download images, or are neurodivergent, you may want to add an image description. As you can see here next to media type, this method of uploading content also works for images, audio, video, and documents. So once you have this information filled out, select Save and View to see your image displayed in Scalar. Your image will show up in full like this. If someone reading your book in the future clicks on this image when it is embedded in a page, it will also take them to this larger view with your description and the image's metadata. I would recommend uploading a majority of your media by linking it to images or other content that already exists online, so that it includes all of the metadata for that media when you upload it already. This way you don't have to worry about things like getting in trouble for stealing other people's content because rather than downloading it and then re-uploading it to your own website, what you're doing is you're linking it to the source itself. However, there is an option to upload your own media as well, and Scalar gives you options within that to specify your own metadata so you're able to properly credit your images. While discussing both uploading via URL versus your own computer, I do wanna note one of the downsides of uploading media via internet URL is that you have no control over hosting, which means that if the image is taken down from the website where you originally got it from, then that image is also no longer accessible your Scalar book as well. Now I'm going to repeat the importing process again, but this time I'm going to import something from one of the archives affiliated with Scalar. So from this screen, looking at an image or another page on the front end of our book, 
we can click on the wrench icon on the top right hand corner of our header bar to get back to our dashboard where we can continue to upload media. Back on the dashboard, open the content tab. Again, we're going to select that box that says pages on the left hand side of the content tab and from the drop down menu select media files. From the bottom of the page, select Import Media, and we will see the drop-down menu from earlier with our options for how to import images to Scalar. This time, we're going to import an image using one of the archives affiliated with Scalar. For incorporating media from the available archives, I recommend going to them directly first and finding the media you want to import. Then, search for the media that you want by title directly in Scalar to upload it to your media files in the back end of your book. Using the Metropolitan Museum of Art Archive, let's add an image to our Scalar dashboard to customize our book with later on. To start, I go directly to the archives website. In this case, that's going to be www.metmuseum.org slash art slash collection slash search. And then I'm going to search for an image that I would like to use for my project. When I found something that I like, I'm going to search that art piece by its title in the Met Museum importer within Scalar. So the art piece that I chose, for example, is this cute little robot called Armor Form Number 9 by Toki Kenji. Click on the box next to the image that you've chose and then click Import Selected from the bottom of the page. Now you will see the metadata for the image that you are importing obtained by Scalar. From this point, you can edit the information for how you would like it to show up in your book. For example, next to DC Terms Description, you may want to add an image description for accessibility in addition to the information about the artist that will be imported by the Met Museum Archive. When you're happy with the information for your imported media, select Continue from the bottom right corner of the screen. Now, the image you chose will also be present in your dashboard where it can be edited further and uploaded to your Scalar book. Here's what the image looks like when you click on it from the dashboard from within a page. And here is what it may look like when embedded in a page, which I will be demonstrating in part two of the Creating a Simple Book tutorials. Finally, I am going to show you how to upload an image straight from your computer by selecting Upload File from the Import Media options listed on your dashboard, or by selecting the Import Media icon from the header bar. To upload images from your computer by selecting the Import Media icon, select this icon from the header bar. Then select Files and URLs and click on Upload Media Files to take you to the import page. When uploading media from the computer that you are working on, keep in mind that you can only upload files that are two megabytes or smaller. Also note the image formats supported by Scalar are DZI, GIF, JPEG, and PNG. When uploading content from your personal computer, be sure to properly cite where the media came from. One way to do that is by selecting Add Additional Metadata for your image and selecting DC Term Source to add a source for the media that you've uploaded. Now that you've begun to accumulate media for your book, the content slash media files page will look something like this. From here, you can continue to upload media or do basic edits on the details for the images that you've added so far. By selecting Edit Row, you can update the title and description of an image from this page. Now you can type directly into the boxes for title and description. Once you are done, select Save Row to update your image. So on this page, I added the image description, a semicircle of large screens surrounds the space lit up with digital projects, which is also gonna help me better remember which image this is when I'm searching for it later to add it to a page in my book. To make more detailed edits, select an image from your imported media. For example, I'm going to choose an image that I downloaded from the library website and then imported to Scalar using the upload file option. Since I uploaded this image from my computer rather than by using the internet URL feature in Scalar, there's a lot of missing information that I can add to support my image. Selecting an image from the media files is going to take you to this full view of the media that you chose. Then from this image page, select the edit icon from the header bar. Selecting the editing icon will take you to this page. Open the metadata tab across the bottom half of the page to add more details about your media. Now I'm going to fill out whatever additional information I have about the media that I chose. So for example, I am adding a brief description of the image, SDSU Library Edition Basement Map, the source for the image. So in this case, I downloaded the picture from the library website. So next to DC Terms colon source, I am adding SDSU Library. And lastly, next to DC Terms colon date, 2019, which is when the image was published online. So then I select Save and View to finalize my edits. 
Now that we have some media ready in the back end of our project, we are ready to start creating our first page. Continue to learn how to assemble a page in Scalar by mixing text and images in part two of this video, creating a simple book with Scalar, assembling and editing pages. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial and happy editing.